Hey y'all, Shay here. We have a video for you today. All right, a little bit of backstory. Uh, Mary's Diamonds was for sale, okay? Bella Art Dana Cole, who sells 3D printed diamond painting trays and lots of other things, um, bought them. So they've merged together. They are, con they are gonna continue to call it Mary's Diamonds for the diamond painting side of their business. And they asked me to do a sneak peek. Yes, I was so excited. I started screaming, running around. Uh, look, you can see my hands and you see the shadows. Um, <laughs> I was just so, so happy. Um, so let's see. I mean, I loved Mary's Diamonds previously. I've opened up several of their canvases. I've worked on a couple and never had any problems. So I'm really anxious to see changes, upgrades, different things that have happened since they've taken over, okay? They did keep the signature pink box with Mary. There's our Mary right there. And hopefully the lighting's okay. I just got using the light from the, uh, from the windows. Okay, I'm gonna bring y'all over a little bit. Okay, uh, yeah, so they've kept a signature pink box that we all know, Mary's Diamonds. It's got the turquoise and the pink, okay? Uh, I did notice on one side of the box, it says, let's see, I'll read it to y'all. It says, we apologize for opening your diamond painting box, since this kit is part of your our first prints, we wanted to ensure that everything was good in good condition and according, and according to our standards. We also made sure a Bella Art essential tray was included. Sincerely, Bella Art and Mary's Diamonds team. Perfect. Okay. That's awesome, y'all. We get one of their diamond painting trays, their 3D printed trays in the Mary's Diamonds package. Okay. So on the other end is the sticker to show what this image is. So let me just start off by saying... Before we look at the image, um, Mary's Diamonds is going to reopen their website. Uh, the date is May 20th. The day that I'm filming this is May 15th, okay? I wanted to get this get this out there. Y'all can see it. If it's something you're interested in, then you know go grab it. But May 20th, their website will open. They are planning to have 10 new kits released. They will be released in round and square, which I think is amazing. I love that you get to choose because a lot of people you know, do have a preference of you know round or square. So yes, okay. Um, there's some other things we can talk about as we unbox it, but let me just show you. I was about to take off the cellophane. It did come in a really nice box, outer box. Um, of course, it's not damaged at all. Y'all wanna see what it is? Okay, look at this little cutie pie. His name, the name of the painting is Ohana, okay? And I looked it up in Ohana, in Hawaiian means family, okay? Yes, yeah, so that's a very, very nice gesture when you say Ohana. Here you've got an octopus holding a little sea turtle. And I know it's a small image. We'll look, we'll look at it closer in just a second. But this is a nice little sticker that they put on here. Um, so you can see what, so you know, when you're storing your, your canvases, you can see what you have, okay? I really do like that they do that. And I wasn't sure if the sticker was on the cellophane or on the box. Oh, perfect. It's still on the box. Okay, good. Probably can see it a little bit better there. So cute. I love this. We get to see Mary's Diamonds and Bella Art Dana Cole's logos that is just so cool you guys yeah everything on the box looks the same I don't think they changed anything on the box now I'm not going to go through and necessarily point out what what was bad and good what's different I mean you know I yes I'm sure there's going to be improvements and I'm awesome I'm waiting to see what awesome changes you know Bella Arte Nicole has done and how they put their spin on things but I'm, I don't remember all the specifics of what Mary's Diamonds had okay but I will tell you what they, the information they've given me, you know, Nicole has to be able to share it with y'all, okay? This is going to be an open, honest review, so y'all can decide for yourself if this is something that you want to do and get, okay? But I'm so excited that they're reopening. I've been waiting. Um, like I said, I was just flabbergasted that they asked me. I'm just still floored, and I'm very, very nervous today. <laughs> so um, I do I apologize if I'm like, um, Okay, so this is hand rendered artwork okay and let's see all their kits have been hand rendered to make sure the detail matches the artwork they have worked tirelessly with their designers to make sure the respect to the artist and their work with the colors is available in diamond painting form okay and definitely they have chosen a size that renders really good in both square and round because like i said you can always choose which one you want okay these are legally licensed kits and we'll talk about the artist in just a second and i did a little bit of research on her and uh, once we get into the painting, we'll look at that. But legally licensed artwork, what that means is that they pay their artists, okay? This is someone's work and they're getting paid for it. So Mary's Diamonds does have permission to use this artwork. So here we have a dust bag. 
And it does have a number here. And I'm assuming this is probably going to go with the drill. So you can tell it's probably the canvas number. Okay. And that way you can tell uh, what goes to what in case you store your drills separate than your, your canvas. All right. Looks like we have a sticker sheet. I like that it's on the outside. A lot of times they're in the inside. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. And I haven't even seen the image yet. Look at this cute baby. Look at this big, look at this little baby with the big eyes. Oh, look at those eyes. Okay, so let's first look at the sticker. It says Mary's Diamonds, filling the gap between art and craft. I love that. So again, it's called Ohana, which means family. And it is licensed work from Leah Baruzzi. Baruzzi I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, love the size of this. It is a 40 by 50 in centimeters or 15 by 19 in inches. Oh, there's a skew. Okay, so yeah, this skew is what we saw on the canvas on the dust bag. It's round drills. This one is 36 colors. And y'all, it includes three ABs. And then also find diamond painting accessories here at Bella Art Dana Cole, okay? And I'll have everything listed in the description if y'all are interested in any of these things. May 20th, go grab it. But look at this little baby. We've got the um, hibiscus flowers. There's the plumeria. Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. They look real. Like how she does the little white spot in the center. And look at that sea turtle. So if you love turtles, or octopuses. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Now, Leah, I do know from looking at doing a little bit of research, she is a an artist from Portland, Oregon. She she was with Mary's Diamonds previously. So if you look at her artwork, and I'll have her listed down below, her Instagram, I started following her. And I did notice that, um, yeah, I love a lot of her artwork. She has a lot of mermaids. So I'm loving this. Now let's take a look at these stickers. Ooh, yes, they are pre-cut. Okay, they're individually cut. Look at that. So you just peel it right off and put it on your storage containers. You put your drills in there and you can just put your label right on there. And then of course they give you plenty of extra labels too. That's awesome. And this entire thing is a sticker. So what you can do is you can cut this out and you can put this in a logbook or on the side of your box, depending on what you wanna do. But yeah, I'll definitely use this in a logbook. You really don't need to put it on your box now that I'm thinking about it because you already have a sticker here. So yeah, I'd put this in a logbook. That'd be my recommendation. All right, so there's our dust bag. The dust bag is really nice. I like that. It's like a thicker dust bag. It's like a nice plastic. Okay, so far so good, y'all. Okay, so shall we? Yeah, the canvas is very, very nice. Uh, let's see. It's got scalloped edges, and it's on a high-quality canvas. It's soft, yet uh, sturdy canvas, okay? So it's not like, it's not too buttery, you know? It's just like just right. You kind of hear it. It feels really, really nice. Okay. So you know how I do it, y'all. Let's do the drill. Reveal. Ooh, oh, I see the ABs right off the bat. Look at that. Okay, y'all, these are individually bagged. Oh yeah, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. They look like they're in order. The ABs are all at the end. I see a white, I see a red. Okay, so let's let's look at the color palette. Lots of that kind of that, you know, um, light pink color, kind of like a cream color. There's a skew number again. So if you do store your drills separate from your, your canvas, You'll know what goes to what. Lots of blues, not a lot of colors, y'all. This is so doable. It's only 36 colors. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for individual bags that are in order like this. Look how pretty. If you don't want to kit up, if you don't, that means if you don't want to move these over to a storage container, you can work straight out of baggies. Okay, you can just put these baggies in a little, you know, storage container, like just a little, like you know, like a little Rubbermaid, if that's what you want to call it, like a, you know, just a little sleeve, and just pop them in there and just grab the bags. So you can start working on this immediately. They are in order. Oh, that's amazing. That makes it so easy, y'all. I can tell 13, 17. Yeah, these are definitely in order. Okay, we'll look at the drills in just a minute. We'll look at the ABs and look at the color palette. I am dying to look at this baby. And the fact that this is rolling up a little bit, not a problem. I know with poor glue, which by the way, this is poor glue, um, you can roll this back on itself. I do the same with the sticker. It doesn't hurt it. I mean, I'm a little bit more gentle with it, but I definitely roll the sticker back too. <laughs> I've never seen anybody do that, but I do. It just kind of helps flatten it out. See, it didn't hurt anything. I mean, the stickers are rolled up. Yeah, let's see. So you can roll up your sticker a little bit. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Okay, so again, this is pork glue. Um, the drills are resin, by the way, in, in the squares, okay? So the resin square drills, higher quality than before and more vibrant and shiny than ever, okay? Uh, let's see. So the glue is awesome. It says it won't, you know, slide around or your drills will stick. Nothing will pop. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. There's something else about this that I can't wait to see. All right. I haven't seen a toolkit yet. 
there she blows. Okay, we'll look at this little baby in a second. Y'all, I might have to work on this next. I think I'm gonna have to. Okay, what I don't see, oh, there it blows. You were hiding from me. This is Bella Art Day Nicole's essential tray. So it is 3D printed. Great tray. Y'all, this is a really nice tray. Look at the high lines. It's got the little spout. This is a really nice tray. And I like that it comes in white. A lot of people don't like the different colors because it messes with the colors of the drills when they're trying to do their diamond painting. So white is perfect. I really, really like that. That's a that's an extra little treat, you guys, to get that just free in your kit. All right, and I like that this is a good size bag. So nothing, everything's just sliding out nicely. <gasps> Blue wax in a little cute wax caddy. Look at this, y'all. This is fancy. Okay, okay, Nicole and Jamie. I see what you're doing over here. All right, let's see how many pads. Oh my gosh, not one, not two, but three pads of blue wax. Now, if you're gonna use this, make sure that you peel off the little film on the top before you put your pen in there, okay? Wow, I was not expecting three, and I love this caddy. Just kind of keeps it from drying out. That's really cute. Perfect. All right, so we did get a pen, okay? does have the brass tip, the single placer, and then it's got one of the wide tips. Looks like about a two or three. And then let's see, this is one of the wider tips as well. I don't care for these clear ones. I like the white ones. The whites are a little bit thinner and they have the number on them. This is probably about an eight, a seven or eight, probably a seven. And this is probably about a five, if I were to guess. Okay, does come with tweezers even though it's around. Okay, are they the pointed ones? Those are the really good tweezers. Look at, yeah, those are great to pick off, you know, a drill that may have you stuck in the wrong spot, if there's a dog hair on your canvas, pet hair. Yeah, but definitely keep it, the, the cover on there so you don't hurt yourself, but these are great tweezers. Okay, we do get washi tape. Oh, I got some popsicles. That's cute. So everyone will get some random washi tape, okay? You won't know which one you get. And then I'm not sure if this is gonna be different colors too, but this is a squishy for your pen, okay? It helps with comfort. It just kind of screws on there, okay? That's everything we need. That's perfect. Okay, so that's our toolkit. Um, and again, it's probably, you know, the reason why the tray wasn't in here originally is because they added it in. So I'm just going to pop it back in that bag. I love the fact that we get that tray. That's a really nice bonus. Yeah, those are great trays. All right. So the toolkit has everything you need. You guys ready? Are you ready? Okay. We're going to take a little tour of the canvas. And what I'll also do is I'll also put up a picture of the, the image throughout the video so y'all can see what it looks like, okay, if I'm moving around too much. Now, what I always do, it's probably self-flattening anyways, but I always just grab the edge of my table to kind of release some of that stress of it being rolled up. Oh, it's such a good size. Look at this little baby. It's gonna fit perfectly. Oh, it's flattening out really nice, y'all. But because it's poor glue, you can roll it back on itself, but y'all, I don't need to. Look at this. I'm just like, you know, just kind of rubbing it a few times to flatten it out. And don't worry about these. This is not double-sided adhesive. So these are not rivers. These are not, this is not anything to, this is just from it being rolled up. It's not gonna hurt it whatsoever. We'll see on the other side. Y'all ready? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Look at this baby. The eyes are what's getting me. They look so real. Such, she's a great, great artist. If y'all not following her on Instagram, definitely go follow her. I'll have her link down below. She's got some beautiful artwork. I love her art. I'm like a fan now, for sure. Look at these hibiscus and the plumeria and the green leaves. Okay, I need to stop looking at this a cute little baby and let's take a tour of the canvas. Okay, so it does have Mary's Diamonds up here, filling the gap between art and craft. It's got, of course, share your love for Mary's Diamonds on social media. It's got their hashtag Mary's Diamonds. Love this. It's got both of the websites, marysdiamonds.com and Belle Art Day Nicole. Now, this is something unique I'm gonna show you in a second, so watch this. Now, there is a legend, okay, on the bottom left. The other legend on the top right is actually flipped around. I'm a rotator, is what we call it, or flipper. I start down here when I start my diamond painting. I start from the bottom left and I go move, and then I move, right? I do two rows, and then I flip it, because I don't like anything really to hang over into my lap, and then I go this, and I go that, okay? So this, having the legend legible to me after I flipped it is genius. Love, love, love that. Nicole and Jamie, that's a great, great touch. Love that, and it's very unique, so I like that. That's really, really cool. All right, and then down here, you've got the thumbnail. Okay, so you got the cute little baby there, Ohana. It says licensed artwork, it's got the artist information. There's the, the skew, 40 by 50 in centimeters, got the inches. It's got Bell Art Dana Cole's branding right here. 
and then all their socials, okay? So it's Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So y'all have all these things listed down below for y'all, okay, to go follow them. So you'll find out all the different, you know, images that are coming out. Oh my gosh, okay, so let's check the glue. I just love this guy. I really do think I'm gonna do him next. I think he's my June painting. Oh yeah, very, very sticky, okay? Really, really nice, thick. Y'all hear that? A nice, thick plastic cover, very nice. Okay, let's check out the drill field. Why don't we look at this turtle? We haven't been giving him much love. I've just been looking at this cute little octopus. So I'm just gonna bring the turtle up here and we're just looking to see how clear the symbols are. They look great. I don't see any problems. I mean, you can just tell all through here, look how clear this is. Very, very clear. Wow, you guys are knocking it out of the park. I'm serious, you guys. I am so honored that they asked me to do a sneak peek. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this. I can't wait to see what other images. I didn't even know which one I was getting. So this is, was a surprise to me until I opened up the box. But I wanted to do a little bit of research so I knew about the artist and I kind of knew, you know, what I was going to be showing y'all. But um, yeah, but this is, I had not opened up the box. So this is all new to me. It just feels great. And I did not have to roll it backwards. Okay, let's take a look at the drills. Okay, I'm going to turn them over real quick. Just so we've got, and see, you could tell that the wrinkling in the back didn't even make a difference. Um, let's see where these ABs go. Okay, sorry about the crinkle, but I love it. And what I always tell y'all, always keep these bags, okay? You can use these for trash. Once you pull everything out, and they are in order, I love that. So if you're gonna work out of baggies, you're set. But um, yeah, just prop open these bags like this, and they just stay open. And then if you're moving these over to a storage container, you just, and you don't wanna keep the baggies, which I don't keep my baggies, you can just toss it in here when you're done and cinch it up. Okay, so our first AB is 3801. I like how she's, they've got the number, it's 35, and then they've got the DMC number. So it's a really pretty red. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's a special coating, like the Northern Lights, um, that they put on the, the diamonds to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. See that on there? Beautiful. All right, so that's our first one. Oh yes, yeah, 666. Okay, so we've got 34, another red. Kind of, let's see, one's, got, one's a little bit orangier than the other one. So 3801's kind of more of an orange. This is like a deeper red. So 666, okay. And then we have 5200, which is white. Oh, those look really good. And we'll look at the dark drills in just a minute to see how the drills look. So that's 36, and there's the DMC number. So there's three, was there, yeah, it was three ABs, is that right? Yeah, let's double check here. We didn't even look at the um, symbol list. Oh, yes, 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 yes. One is one, two is two, three is three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you guys are awesome, eight. And then once it gets to nine, it's A, C, D, E, G, F, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, T. They're avoiding the ones that look similar. Love that, U, V, Y, X. And then we have lowercase A, E, H. And then we have a few symbols. Okay, that's gonna be very nice. You can tell some diamond painters because Nicole is a diamond painter. And I think Jamie is too. Um, I know he has diamond painted in the past, but you can tell that that's one thing I really love. We actually have, and, and I don't know if Mary is a diamond painter, but I can tell you, we now have a diamond painter that owns, this, that owns this company. And you can tell little things like that, that's helpful. Love that. Okay, so that's our three ABs. Um, let's just, you know, let's just go through these real quick. Um, I don't think we need to go through all the number. Oh yeah, that's what I want to look at was 310. Let's just do, I should have, here, let me grab this tray. We'll see how the tray works. But um, what I'm looking for is some trash just to see how the drills line up and also to see if there's any knobbly bits. Um, and these are round and typically you'll have, if there's gonna be problems, it'll be with squares. But I wanna see how shiny they are. I wanna make sure they're not staticky. Y'all are testing me on my, my drill shakeage here. Yeah, look at those. Look how sparkly those are. And the reason why I chose 310, the black, is because normally that's where you're gonna have some problems is with the black ones. These look really good. Everything's nice and round. Let's see the bottoms, flat, flat bottoms. These look great. Y'all, I'm not seeing anything bad. This is amazing. I'm so happy to have Mary's Diamonds back. So, so happy. I'm so happy that Jamie and Nicole are part of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda, you know, there you go, there's the colors. Obviously, lots of, lots of, you know, this brown peach. So we have a lot of 758, 754, light, light brown colors. Um, this is probably going to be the background. We've got 3779, two bags of that. Yeah, so that's going to be probably a lot of the background. Or maybe him, the little guy, the octopus. Uh, but yeah, a lot of pinks, 
some greens in here. Really, really color, pretty color palette. Just gorgeous. Yes, I'm loving these colors. 818, 819. Oh, these look really good. These drills look great. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, so let's see where the ABs go. Okay. I want to make sure there's nothing else that I have not talked about. But I think we're covering everything. And if you all have any questions, gosh, I just can't get over how flat. I mean, it's just, it feels great. And I love this size. I'm, I'm not... I kind of start switching my size a little bit and I kind of wanted to go a little bit smaller these days. So this, and I didn't even get to pick, but this is perfect for me. It's like they knew. I didn't want it real big. So this is a great, great project. I'm going on a retreat in June and I'm gonna bring this with me. That This is gonna be the one. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's look at 34, which is 666. And the 34 is the H symbol. So right there, we've got H. So you've got the three ABs at the bottom. Okay, so that's nice. So let's look and see the H. I bet it's gonna be in these flowers. Yep. So I see some H's right here in the center of the flower. Hopefully y'all can see those. Yep, so there's some H's also in here. Yep, so it's that deep red in here. It's gonna be that 666. So just those two flowers. I don't see it anywhere else. Okay, that makes sense. That's gonna look good, a little pop of red in those. All right, the next one is 3801. So it's that more of an orangey red. And that's gonna be 35. And 35 is lowercase t, also in the flowers. Okay, these flowers are gonna look gorgeous. Um, yeah, you've got the t on the outside of these flowers. So you're gonna have the deeper red, then kind of an orange, like a lighter orangier red. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Yes, okay, gorgeous. And then the 5200 is the, checks, the check mark, okay? Oh, I see it, it's definitely gonna be an outline. I can see it right here outlining this flower, this hibiscus. I just see the check marks all through here. Yeah, that's gonna look so good. I'm seeing it just all around a lot of the outline. Yeah, I'm seeing it all through here. So definitely outlining his tentacles over here in the octopus. So not just the flowers. Also over here on this hibiscus, around those edges. Oh yes, that's what I was hoping for. It's gonna be all in the center of his little cute eyeball. Look at that little eye. He's so cute. So all in there, and then he'll have one over here in that, that other eye. He is adorable. But yeah, again, on this hibiscus, outlining this flower. Oh, you guys, this looks so good. And it's also outlining this flower over here. So I just keep spotting it where I look, kind of outlining certain areas. I am in love with this little baby. I'm gonna have to name him. What should we name him? I always tend to name things, like if it's an octopus, I'm gonna go with an O name. I'm thinking, I don't wanna go Oliver because that's my dog's name. Um, what could we call him? Otto? No. Y'all let me know down in the comments. I need an O name. I need to name the baby, something octopus. What should we call him? So let me know. Um, what do y'all think? How are you excited about Mary's Diamonds? I am so excited to be looking for other sneak peekers. There's gonna be, like I said, a total of 10 images. So be on the lookout. This, this, it's the 20th. The 20th is coming, y'all, five days. So definitely mark your calendars. Uh, follow them on Instagram and all the socials so you'll get notified on everything. They also have a YouTube channel. And so definitely follow them there because they're really, they go live and they talk about, you know, what's coming up. So just follow them anywhere you can. And you'll make sure, make sure that you get all the information. And also um, follow me, subscribe to me if you haven't already. It is free. There's a subscribe button down below. Uh, click on that. And then also there's a notification bell right next to that and uh, click on that bell and then you'll be notified whenever I post up any new videos. And if you liked this, give me a thumbs up and uh, hopefully you'll be seeing more Mary's Diamonds sneak peeks from me because this is my first one and I'm so, so happy. So I hope I did it justice. Um, I wanted to do an honest review. I liked everything I saw. I, I don't have any feedback to give. <laughs> I mean, I love it. You can tell a diamond painter is doing this. I mean, you can just tell. It's very obvious. So great job, Jamie and Nicole. Really, really appreciate everything that you're doing for us. Um, okay, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I'm going to play with the drills a little bit and line them back up and get them in all in order and play with them and uh, get this guy. I might kid him up. I think I might. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Love you guys so much. Uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.